Okay. We're live? You're live. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday morning, probably yeah. for most of you. I'm waiting to see what it's going to do here. Here we go. So Vicki and I are going to talk a little bit. I'm going to share some information and um, we're going to do our normal Saturday morning gig, so to speak. Let's get our thumbs up. Everybody get your thumbs up. And uh, Vicki is going to, she's like setting the camera up and then she's going to. Morning, Michael. Your brother from there. another mother. Morning, guys. Morning, Tessa. I got your text just now. I'll answer you back in a minute. After we're done, you mean? Yeah, after we're done. Gotcha. So, hope you guys are doing well. It is uh, another cold morning out here, but <laughs> it's clear. Justin says good morning. I'll answer your morning. email, too. <laughs> morning, Justin. Um, so, everything's going great out here. We've got a little bit of issue with the website. If you guys are having uh, trouble ordering, um, let us know. Best way is just to call us if you want to order. Uh, the, we've got our IT guy kind of working on the website. Uh, he fixed some of it, but now we're kind of tweaking the fixes. So. Yeah, yeah, still having a little bit of an issue with it. But um, anyway. Good morning, everybody. So you guys can always call us. Morning, Chris, Mark, Tessa. Hall. Lee Harrington. Lee, I'm Lee, glad hope, you're back. Yeah, I hope you're feeling better, buddy. Um, Rod Hall, great, good group. All right, you guys. So, um, morning, Miss Angie. In case you guys didn't see, uh, first thing I want to mention is, in case you guys didn't see last night. Oh, or do you want to do the cups? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll let you do the cups. Okay, so around, I guess it was before Christmas. I don't remember what time. Oh, hummies are out. Oh, that's not a hummy. Anyway. Um, um, Michelle. Michelle Booth, Mer Michelle, it's Merriman, Merriman Booth, anyway, Michelle Booth, thank you, Michelle, had, was making these cups, um, and they were amazing, so I asked her if she could tweak it a little bit for Eric and I, and this is what she came up with, you guys, check these out, these check out these cups, I don't, it, however they come across I'm on trying camera, to see, I, I'm trying to get, there we go, However they come across on camera, it ain't enough. These things are so stinking spectacular. And then spectacular. on the back side. Oh, dang it. Thank you. Hold on. Oh, forgot to put the sound dang in. It. <laughs> you can't hear us. Vicky was so excited about showing the cups. Okay. So excited about showing the cups, she forgot to plug <laughs> in the mic. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, okay, you so tell them again about all right. So, Michelle Merriman Booth um, made these for us, and uh, she made she god, this is resin, you guys. This is all resin, and I'm gonna kind of move up a little bit, and you, you can see yeah. well, so you can see, so you can see. I want to how spectacular do this, so. these things are. Yeah, look at these, check these out. I don't know if you can see these real good, but let's see. I'm trying to see what you guys are seeing. I know there's a glare now. Hold on. Look at the so Vicky's kind looking of, texture on those. Vicky's kind of looks like, um, I don't know, like almost an ash like almost. an ash or a poplar or a blue, key, uh, blue pine. And then mine Oops. looks more I'm like sorry. cedar or, uh, or, yeah, it looks like cedar or redwood. But so check man, those they're out. Just so spectacular. There we go. I'm trying to see what you guys are seeing, guys. That's why it's taken so long. They are truly quality cups, man. And, she just and what's really cool is that they're screw on top, and you can put a straw in it because it has like this little hole right in here, or flip up the lid and drink it that way. Um, and they are no leak. No leak. Oh, and it just made a liar out of me. And that was because well, I had, had a drop. On the top. Yeah, I had a drop on the top. That's what it was. Yeah. But they are, I've already tested them. They are no leak. Yeah. So they're so cool. I'm so excited about them. They look awesome. They're she amazing. did a beautiful job. Amazing. I love it. Anyway. Yeah. So, Michelle, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. They're awesome. They're beautiful. They're just crazy, crazy cool. Okay, so uh, I'm going to move on to kind of my thing. Um, last night, in case oh, hi, you... Tom Watson. 
Tom Watson. Hey, buddy. How are you, man? How's things up in your neck of the woods, the Pacific Northwest? Daniel, I didn't have the microphone in. That's why you couldn't hear us. Sorry. Yeah, so it should be I got a little now. excited this morning about our cups. <laughs> So last night on uh, YouTube Live, in case you guys didn't see it, uh, we introduced a brand new router bit to our line. Uh, this again is made by Amana, but it is, uh, let me see here. Yeah, that will probably be. Oh, I'm sorry. This will probably show it up. It's a spiral upcut bit, but it is eighth inch cutting diameter. So it's really tiny and it can fit in some really tight areas. So I know a lot of you like to do flat background stuff, maybe flat um, uh, uh, flat background inset letters even, but it gets into some really tight spots. So uh, I love this thing. I've tested it and I really love it. It's taken a while to kind of get this going, but I've got a stock of them now. So if you guys want one of these, let me know. I will be doing morning, a demo Shirley. on this. Wednesday's video, I will be doing a complete demo with this uh, bit, and um, I think you're really going to like it. I, I really had fun playing with it and testing it. So, um, anyway, it's the uh, same price as the other spiral, which is 26 20, 26 But um, anyway, I'm super excited about uh, doing some carving with this thing. So, that, just in case you guys missed last night's Justin do you want me to put an order in for you on that I'm, I just want to make sure you will uh, you'll be seeing more on them for sure okay um, so I got an email a while back from uh, Charlie and I'm not sure if it's Charlie mm -hmm. Wooshu okay. or not but um, and he says I have a sign uh, I got asked to do a sign and the customer wants a free form like a natural edge I'm watching video 156, but is there a more updated version of this? <laughs> Tessa said, make him look pretty, Miss Vicky. I'm <laughs> fixing my hood. He yeah. does, I, I fix his hood all the time. Um, so he said he was watching 156, and that is pen? that is the one where um, I did the Nook and Ridge sign. So it was kind of a freeform edge and then I used the angle grinder on the edge a little bit, kind of give it a, a, a broken look, so to speak. I uh, came out really good on 156, but I didn't go into a lot of the, of the freeform edge. There was another video that Vicki and I did later on. It was mostly Vicki, actually. Number 265. Victoria, hi Ladybug. Hey Victoria, great to see you. Um, so there was another one that Vicky and I did again, mostly Vicky. It was number 265. So just uh, type in and go to the channel search and, and type in hashtag 265. And this is the one where we started kind of getting into power carving a little bit. So this is, I'm going to give you kind of a progression of, uh, screenshots that I took. And, um, this is where Vicky was using I don't, again, I guys, these pictures aren't that good because I blew them up from screenshots. So Vicky was using like a, a disc and the angle, uh, yeah, the angle grinder. And she was, um, first of all, I took a, a piece of, I think this is actually the sign. I think this is the board I made for uh, John Malecki. I think this is the sign I made for him. Anyway, uh, I cut it freeform shape out of two inch redwood. And then Vicky uh, started the process with the angle grinder, just kind of making grooves. And then um, from there, she took the Dremel tool. This is before we had a die grinder. She took the Dremel tool and a little saber tooth uh, grinder and added more grinds to the edge of it, uh, which looked really cool. You guys, I, I have forgotten how cool this video is that we that Vicky did, number 265. But then she did some, um, some, some more grinding to the edge of it. And then, so this is how it looked all the way around. This is, uh, it just really looks cool. And then she put stain on it, put a dark stain. And so this was kind of the, the, the end result. Uh, we've got it kind of, what? Well, you can't really see it. Yeah, it's it's really hard to see, but this is a dark stain on the um, on the rough edge, the the 
basically faux, what we call faux live edge. And uh, that, so that's what it looks like uh, when it's all done. Again, go watch the video. The pictures will be much better on the video. But I do, I did want to kind of share that because um, sometimes we do videos and then we're constantly in the process of making videos, planning videos, and we kind of forget about some of the old videos we did. I had forgotten about this one, um, which I think we ought to do more stuff like that. Because this was really before we actually found Reclaim Secrets up in Vegas, where we started buying actual Live Edge stuff. So we had to try and figure out how to make a fake or a faux Live Edge. And this is what we came up with. And we found videos that kind of we worked with that showed us, gave us the idea to do this. But um, go watch number 265. And then we also have a complete... Um, a complete playlist if you go to the channel we have a complete pay playlist on how to do edges and that is in there as well and there's you know several different ones in there on how to do edges brad rob said he likes doing that and he torches it yeah and that's another way to do it you know you can torch the edge and it makes it look probably more natural than staining and i know you mentioned on the video we were watching this morning some people will put stain on there but then hit it with a piece of sandpaper to kind of give it more textured of a, a, a yeah a textured look and a, a light depth, yeah. and a dark mixture. So, um, uh, okay, anyway, um, Justin, I'm sorry about your package. USPS has been horrible, um, and you know what, guys, they are terrible anyway. But I think a lot of it has to do with the bad weather that the country got hit with. Um, and it is coming back, you know, everything, people are getting their order, but it's just taking a long time. We are, uh, who was it, Dan Yotis? Yeah, Dan. Dan's yeah. Uh, got going to get me in touch with somebody at USP, UPS because now they have a um, flat, rate shipping, flat rate shipping program, which he sent me a, a link, but I haven't looked at it yet. But that'll be this next week. I'll be looking into that. So. But a lot, again, we're, honestly, we're trying our options. So yeah, uh, honestly, the bad weather storms all over the country. With power going out, pipelines freezing and breaking. Uh, and ice storms, ice storms, and, storms in Texas. So and you know, it's just crazy. So it's been wild weather. And when it leaves here, it doesn't go straight to you. It goes through the distribution process. And the, I was on. Uh, I've checked a lot of the packages once they left Las Vegas distribution center. There's no tracking for them. I've been on the phone twice with them in the last week. Um, mm -hmm. Waited over an hour, got hung up on, left a recording. Nobody called me back. So uh, we're trying. Uh, let's see what we got here. Victoria Mueller says, I use an angle grinder, then can torch for depth and stain it to bring back the natural look. And it turns out beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Don says, UPS took forever to get the minion sign I made to Jamie McCord. I thought for sure it was lost, but after six weeks, hey, she six finally got weeks. it. Six weeks, wow. Man. I still have not got my order either. It took me over two weeks. I got a drill I ordered. Yeah. But <coughs> don't know. But I think UPS might be having issues as well. It may not just be USPS. Yeah. But um, anyway, guys, I'm hoping this stuff all settles down as the weather warms up and people get past these uh, catastrophes as far as storms go. So let's hope so. Um, UPS. Ian says U UPS transfers to USPS in the area, so it delays it even further. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, anyway guys. We're, we're, we're doing trying, our best, unfortunately. Trying to stay positive. <laughs> there's only so much we can do, unfortunately. Yeah. Once, the, once the postal people have it, we can track it, and we can send you guys tracking numbers on it, but that's oh, about Billy all McGee we... Billy McGee said, bless you, because you sneeze. Oh, thank you, Billy. <laughs> Appreciate that. Bless you, too. Um, <laughs> anyway, there's just we just have no, no... It's not like we can you know, go to the postmaster and start complaining to him, and that wouldn't do any good. So, anyway... Um, yeah, Dan, work, Dan Yotis, he works for UPS. So Where is Dan? You have, huh? That is Dan. Yeah. I know. Oh. Anyway, uh, um, so yeah, he works for UPS, and so he says that whole UPS to, to USPS is a different uh, service. So, 
Okay. And there's a reason it's called snail mail. Yeah. Yeah. But it's actually supposed to be priority mail. Yeah. But anyway, that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, maybe they got Newman working full time and maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Newman from Seinfeld. Seinfeld yeah. Anyway. Um, okay, so that's uh, honestly, we've got Monday's video is going to be the making of the uh, St. Patty's Day sign. Yeah, which I guess, all of them. I guess I should have showed that. Uh, St. Patrick's Day sign that I did on the live last night. The making of that is going to be on Monday. Tomorrow morning is going to be a senior moment. Another story from Dad's childhood. I think you guys will enjoy. All and, right. I'm uh, sorry. Yeah. So no. to get this straight, Justin Hillickson and Gary Wilcut, you want me to send you a router base plate? I mean, <laughs> sorry, not a router base plate, but the eighth inch um, spiral upcut bit, right? If that is correct, and I have your card on file, I will do that this morning. Yeah, we're shipping today. Um, and then Wednesday's video is going to be the demo on this. I'm really excited. I want to play around with this with some small inset letters. I want to do some outset letters. I want to do some flat background. See how uh, the tight areas that I can get into with this thing. I think this thing, the, the uh, flute length is only a half inch, but I think that's done on purpose because I don't think you would want to go deeper than that all in one cut because it might be too fragile. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna oh, play with it and John see how Hall it John Hall said, any warning to prevent breaking of the new bit? He had asked that earlier. Yeah, that, and that, that, that's it. I wouldn't take this thing any deeper than a quarter of an inch at a time, maybe even less than that. If you're going to go more than a quarter of an inch, I would definitely take it in multiple passes. I don't know that for a fact, but that's my hunch because it is so small. Um, and it's a spiral grind on that thing. So, you can call me, Gary. But I have tested it, and I, I don't think I went a quarter of an inch when I did my testing on it. But I want to do it in, in real uh, real ap application, you know, with some other letters and stuff. So um, I'm definitely going to... Oh, look, I, there's I, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Michelle, look. Good morning. We showed your cups today. There they are. Look at there. She's here, guys. These cups are amazing. If you want cups like this, contact Michelle. Yeah. Um, Not with the logo. That's yeah. kind of priority. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of ours. Pam, yes, ma'am, I sure will. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing that demo on this bit, and I'm going to try and get as comprehensive on it as I possibly can. So try and cover all the bases. But um, anyway, okay, that's it. I guess. Uh, John, uh, how do I get you to keep my card? You have to call me. Don't send it over email. It's too open. Call me and I will put it in my QuickBooks program and then I'll have it. Yeah, that's the way we do all call in orders. Keith Davenport says he only takes an eighth inch at a time with his. With his? Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Keith, uh, I've passed your information on. Congratulations on winning the Star Bond uh, yes. package last night. I passed your information on, so hopefully that will be shipped out to you soon. Frank got his pretty fast, actually. Frank Jenkins won the Tessa, last Tessa, send Michelle a private message. I think she's on the Minions group page. She'll tell you how much. Um, I'm about ready to sneeze again. Got any allergies again? <coughs> I don't know. Crazy. All right, um, guys, we've got a bunch of stuff to take care of to yeah. do today. Yep. Um, yeah. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give us those thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, guys. And um, then um, we will be back live on Facebook Tuesday night. We've got some uh, a demo that I want to do that I'm hoping comes out good. These things are amazing. All right. Check so those wait. out. Turn it, I'm going to turn mine around. You hold oh. yours with the logo. So they both have this on them. Wait, there we got it. They are so cool. Yay. There they are. There they are. Thank you, Michelle. We absolutely, absolutely love, love them. Oh, they Billy are says Kazoom type. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to get mm. out of here for it. Uh, All right, guys. Okay. That is it, guys. Uh, we love you. Thank you so much. And uh, any questions, uh, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. And uh, I just, I left that Starbond thing on there. 
That's the Starbond code. If you go to Starbond and you want to buy any of their stuff, that's the 15% off code for us. And um, then in the bottom of all of our videos, most of our recent yeah. videos, there's actually a... Uh, Sorry, it was in your face. Oh, right. There's actually a link to go right to the website so then you can put the code in. Yes. Anyway. So, um, again... Thank you, thank you, thank you, Michelle, for the cups. Um, love them. The Anybody best. that's interested in a cup, contact Michelle. I believe she's on the Minion page. Um, Miss Victoria, thank you for stopping by. It was good to see you on here. Um, she's my ladybug. Um, you guys stay safe. Let's see. Thank you for asking me to make them. I was so excited. And they They're turned amazing. out amazing. Um, so you guys stay safe. You stay healthy. And... Uh, We'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Over there again. Yep. Got to go shut it off. Love you guys. We'll try and remember to put the microphone in first thing. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.